binary distillation. As the name implies, we are going to have only two components. The volatile material is going to go up, the heavy material goes down. So here is the feed. We commonly have trays here. This is called the stripping section, and this is the rectifying section. We are going to have a reboiler and a condenser. The methods that we are used to are either the punchin and separate method or the McCabe and Thiel method. I actually prefer the second one, it's easier to understand. And it allows us to get the enriching and stripping sections where to feed, that will be where to place the feed in which stage. Also helps us to get the recycle ratio, that is in this place right here, how much should you get back and how much should you get to the product. Also states the minimum reflux ratio. There's always a minimum in which you should operate. If you operate less, you're not going to achieve the continuous process. The optimal reflux ratio is also recommended, sometimes 2.5 times the minimum and so on. Also helps us to calculate the reboiler and this is the reboiler and the condenser duties. Also help us to state the total or not the total number of stages, for instance, the trays that we should pack. And also we should consider tray efficiency. Because one thing is to stay a tray, a tray and assume that there will be 100% equilibrium uh, distribution, but in real life that does not happen. And actually we're going to see also, I think it's Eddie's efficiencies or Murphy's efficiency on stages. And that will be the main goal of binary distillation, to define the rectifying, the stripping section, select the tray at which feed should be uh, given or fed, and the recycle ratio.